In this tutorial, I will show you how to model a realistic ear from scratch using an easy step-by-step -step method that is perfect for beginners. So I've created a time-lapse to show you the full process of modeling the ear from start to finish. First, gonna start by extruding the outer edge from the bottom to the top in a shape that looks like the question mark. Next, we're gonna fill in the back of the ear and after that, we're gonna extrude these two edges to create the Y ear structure. Then we're gonna form the inner fold, folding and scaling down the top edge inward for depth. After that, we're gonna close the gaps, the remaining empty spaces. And finally, we can extrude the ear hole outward, then inward to have the ear canal. So let's get to work. So on the side of our hand, you notice a small opening this is where the ear begins. But first we have to align the surrounding vertices to form a clean circular hole. So keep in mind that only a small part of the ear connects to the head, not the full width of the ear. So you can see that drawing that I draw right here. So this is the right circle. So let's go ahead and align the vertices with that circle. So it should be just small, small circle like this. So let's go ahead and align all the vertices together. So the next step is going to be to start the extruding process. So I want you to select these two vertices and we can press E to extrude them outside like this. We can scale them a little bit down. Also, let's not forget the right or the front, front side. And let's keep extruding, spin around, scale down and continue upward till we reach the top. So with every extrusion, you have to make sure that it's well aligned with the reference image. So let's continue the extrusion, extrude. Here we can just scale it way down. Let me just scale it way down because we're gonna be adding an inset on the inside to, f to add that fold, that ear folding. So I'd like to just drag these vertices down here because later we're gonna be adding a new extrusion next to it. All right, so let's continue with that edge. Like this, we can continue the spinning process and keep extruding till we reach the top of the ear. And also let's align it from the front side and just keep aligning these vertices by pushing them to the right side here like this. And finally, we need to merge the top of the ear with the head. And now let's make the connection. So let's select these two vertices. We can press M and then let's merge at the last. And for the second vertex, we can merge it with this head vertex that we got on the bottom. Press M and merge it at the last. And there we go. So we got the first ear edge, the outer edge of the ear. So the next step is going to be to start the filling process. So I'd like to drag this vertex a little bit down. And I'd like to extrude the outer edge. So we got it here. So what we can do, we can select all these vertices. I'm selecting, I'm pressing control so that we can select everything in between. And we can try E and X so that we can extrude on the X axis. So now we got the first edge like this. We can start the filling process. Let me select these four vertices. We can press F to fill them. Let me just give them, give it a little bit of thickness in the ear. And at this location, we need to start the extrusion, but I like to insert a new edge loop. We can press Ctrl R to insert that edge loop right at the middle so that we can have enough geometry to fill the ear from the back. Let's do some alignment. We need to have a nice curvy top ear. For this vertex, we can press E to extrude it. And let me select these four vertices, press F to fill that gap, add another extrusion and fill it like this. On the other side, we can select these three vertices or these four, we can press F to fill them. Okay, so let's select every four vertices and keep pressing F to fill the gap. So here I'm going to take this one a little bit up. Let's select these four vertices, press F like that. Here at the bottom, let me select. We can extrude this vertex like this and let's select these four vertices, press F to fill the gap. There we go. And we can continue. So let's select the top, press F again. 
nice sentence for this last hole. Select every four, press F. Here we have only three vertices, but that's fine for the ear. You can just press F to fill that gap. Let me check the back, there we go. So the back of the ear seems reasonable. So we can tweak it a little bit. Let me just push this vertex a little bit up and to the right side, inside. Same thing for this vertex, we need to give it some thickness. And there we have it, so we got the back of the ear covered. So we got the back of the ear, so now we need to work on the front of the ears here. So I'd like to bring the reference image so that we can see it. So here I'd like to switch to the image editor and we can switch or we can click on this head side reference image. So now we can follow the shape of the ear. So here I'd actually select this vertex and let's start extruding it along this edge. Also here on the front, we need to align it with the front reference image. All right, so here we can fill these gaps like this. Let's select this vertex and continue along this edge. But here we cannot see our vertices in a clear way. So we have a lot of vertices, one on top of each of another. So what we need to do, we need to do some cleanup. So I'd like to select switch here. Let's go to the top, switch to the face mode. I'd like to select all the other faces. Alt, left click, press C to select them randomly like this. And let's select everything beside the ear. So let's keep the ear and let's select everything. And we can press H to hide the rest. Let me also select this part. So we can press H to hide the rest. We can press C again and let me select the remaining bars. We can press H to hide them. So the shortcut, if you want to bring them back, I can press Alt H. So as you can see, the view is better. So with this vertex, we can just align it better. And let's go ahead along this edge like this. So next I'd like to select this vertex at the top and let's extrude it down to follow that second edge like this. So now we got two edges for this shape. Here we can insert a new edge loop so that we can make the connection. Let's make it close to each another and we can extrude so that we can form faces here. So here we can select these two vertices, press F to fill that gap. Okay, let's push it a little bit to the left side, like this. After that, we can select the bottom vertex and let's extrude it up. You can press E to extrude it and keep making the turn. We can do the alignment on the right side and continue until we reach the top. And here we can just fill again. So let's select these four vertices, press F and keep pressing F to fill the gaps. Same thing on the left, on the right side. You can just keep pressing F to fill all the gaps. But here I don't want to do that. Let me just reverse back by pressing Ctrl Z. So what I want to do, I want to create a fold. So let's select these vertices. We can try E to extrude them. And let's go on the x-axis. We can press X to go on the x-axis. And we can scale them down like this. For this part here, let me just merge it with that edge. Same thing for this vertex. Shift selected our vertex, press M, merge at the last. So now we can bind that part together. So after that, let me select these vertices. We can press F to fill them. Same thing here, and let's continue. Same thing here at the top, let's select these four vertices, press F, and continue filling those gaps. For this part, I'd like to push it a little bit out to have some kind of a sharp shape. Same thing here, let's push these out a little bit. You can do right click in sheet smooth. For these, I'd like to push them a little bit out and drag them down. Same thing here. Can push it to the left a little bit. Push it back. Okay, here we can select these four vertices. We can press F and continue like this for the second gap. Same thing here, we can extrude this edge on the inside and let's fill those gaps like this. 
here one two three four and we can fill that gap all right so now for this part we need to extrude it again so let's select it and extrude it on the x-axis at the top we can just fill it Here I'd like to select this part and extrude it on the x-axis, scale it a little bit down. Let's select these four vertices and fill them. Again here we can extrude for the second time so that we can match this four vertices. And there we go. So that's the beginning of the ear hole. So let me select these four vertices at the top. You can press F to fill them. Same thing here. Let's we should not be touching this vertex because it belongs to the head. You can see that we can press Alt H to bring back all the hidden elements. And there we go. So our ear is almost done. I'm going to just delete this drawing by pressing Ctrl. Left click. And here let me just select this part. Since like these two vertices, X with them on the X outside. And we can bridge between the top like this. Fill those gaps. Scale this part a little bit down. Select these four vertices, fill them again. Same thing here, we can keep filling those gaps. All right, so there we go. So we got a basic ear. It's not perfect, but it's gonna do the job. Here we can push it a little bit inside. And basically we got it, so we got the ear of our character. We can tweak these vertices by pushing them on the inside like this. A little bit of tweakings. And there you have it. So we got the ears of our character. If you had fun and if you'd like to learn more about character creation, then you might like the full character creation course over at Udemy that covers character modeling and texturing from scratch, rigging and animation, then exporting our character to Unreal Engine and Unity to build a game with our character and play it on both PC and Android mobile phones. Plus, if you didn't like the course, there is a 3 days money back guarantee. The link is down below in the description.